Hey everybody, welcome on back to the walkthrough, or the read-through. Um, haven't actually done this in a while, so if there's a major difference between the last video and this video, my sincere apologies, but let's keep going with binding names. Binding names can be any word. Digits can be part of binding names. Catch-22 is a valid name, for example, but the name must not start with a digit. A binding name may include dollar signs or underscores, but no other punctuation or special characters. Words with a special meaning, such as let or var, are key words, and they may not be used as binding names. There are also a number of words that are reserved for use in future versions of JavaScript, which also can't be used uh, as binding names. Uh, the full list of keywords and reserved words is rather long. Break, case, catch, well, I'm not going to read them all out, but there they are. Uh, don't worry about memorizing that list or reading every word. Uh, when creating a binding produces an unexpected syntax error, see whether you're trying to define a reserved word. Uh, so real quick, that sounds like two things we want to add to our vocab, sorry, one thing we want to add to our vocab list and one thing we want to try out in REPL. Uh, so... Hmm. I'm starting to think that it's not necessarily a great idea to limit the definition of these, which is to say that um, we'll say keywords, reserved words, and words, you know, perhaps that could be shorter, but who cares? Uh, let's go ahead and delete this example from previous, and uh, let's grab a, a keyword. So catch, and see how that glows a different color? I think run is one. No. Uh, Let's see, new, but as you see, each time we type one of these in, it tends to, ch uh, to change the spelling a little bit. See how all of these are different colors? It doesn't change the spelling, sorry. This is earlier than I usually do these. Um, but anyway, it doesn't change the spelling so much as it changes the highlighting, and the idea there is to let you know that you've uh, stumbled upon a word that is reserved in some capacity. But if we say void two, now all of a sudden we can make this uh, some kind of binding, let void2 equal whatever. Now we've, we've uh, successfully navigated away from this protected word or reserved word, but anyway, those are things you want to keep in mind. Uh, short section, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.